Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, and I want you to tone it down a little bit, Mr. Frank Gonzalez. His presenter will be Mr. Bill Clark, who is Frank's athletic director at El Dorado High School. Frank taught language arts and coached wrestling at Pacifica High School and El Dorado High School. In 23 years of coaching, his teams have won over 90% of all their matches, including 12 league championships, three CIF championships, and the 1982 CIF State Wrestling Championship. He was also coached, he has also coached 40 CIF place winners, 30 state place winners, 21 individual All-Americans, and 17 state CIF champions. Frank is proud of the fact that 25 of his wrestlers have earned scholarships or grants and competed at the college level. I should also mention that some of Frank's former wrestlers, if you haven't figured this out, are here this evening. <laughs> Frank also coached at Rancho Santiago Community College. He was selected twice as the Teacher of the Year and four times as the Orange County Community College Coach of the Year. Frank created the California Wrestling Academy in 1994 and continues to serve about 125 participants on an annual basis. He was selected as the National Wrestling Coach of the Year in 1982, the Garden Grove League Coach of the Year in 1975, and has been the Coach of the Year of the Orange League, the Empire League, as well as the Orange County, a combined total of 11 years. He has also been the El Dorado Teacher of the Year twice and the Community College Coach of the Year. In addition to wrestling, Frank coached girls swimming and served as an assistant football coach at El Dorado High School. He also serves in the capacity of manager, coordinator, and representative for various postseason events in the CIF Southern Section. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Frank Gonzalez. Can't see without my glasses. I want to thank the committee for selecting me, and I want to thank all the people that have shown up on my behalf tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And, uh, uh, I guess uh, wrestling to me, it, it, uh, I found my avocation early in life. Um, I, I, in high school, I, I didn't know, uh, I knew I liked sports, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. I guess it all started with Del Swartz at Pacifica High School back in 1966. He recruited me off the football team, and from that moment, uh, it was a journey. He, he taught me how to wrestle. He taught me uh, how to, uh, later on, he taught me how to coach. He brought me back uh, as a student teacher and uh, I coached with him at Pacifica High School and uh, I, I, I can't tell you how much I learned from Dell Swartz. Uh, organization of practices, how to recruit kids, uh, 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 how to uh, peak kids for the end of the year. I, I, learned, I learned all the basic skills from Dell Swartz from there. Uh, and I can tell you, my, my wrestling career is really just a, just a, a tapestry of, of stolen uh, philosophies and, and, and education from everybody that I ever, I ever worked with. I, I kind of stole something from everybody. Dell was the biggest contributor of that. Uh, then I went on to Santa Ana College and, and uh, one of our inductees, Frank Adelman, uh, I, I, I learned a great many things from Frank Adelman, uh, organization of practice, and especially how to how to uh, get uh, wrestlers to peak in the end. Really, really a great teacher of wrestling skills, and he taught me the art of the finish. Um, I completed my wrestling career at Cal State Fullerton, and then uh, uh, after student teaching for Del Swartz, I got hired at El Dorado High School in 1976. Um, I, I was lucky. El Dorado High School had this flourishing environment under Bill Clark for, uh, for success. And everything, it seemed like everything that we did at El Dorado High School became successful because of Bill Clark. I learned about organization, I learned about camaraderie, I learned, I learned a great many things from Bill Clark. Um, and he, he, he allowed me to be successful there. 
He allowed me to be a coach. He allowed me to do what I needed to do in order to become successful. And so uh, that built the fundamental. Uh, also, um, I had some great kids coming into the program. Uh, Bob Stola was up here. We had a we had a little kid program going, and we, we got we got some terrific kids out of that program. So I was blessed with that. Also had a, an assistant coach that uh, kind of kept me on the straight and narrow. I coached with him for 14 years, and he deserves at least 50 percent of everything that happens up here. Steve Himes, and I'm glad he's here tonight. You know, and, and uh, from there. Uh, I got to tell you, I had so many good coaches work with me. I mean, I, I learned a great many things from Steve Himes. Jeff Roberts worked with me the year we won the state title in uh, 1982. And I, I, I was always kind of uh, uh, short and curt in, in my demeanor when I was at Pacifica High School. And I learned about patience from Jeff. And I learned how to, how to be patient with kids. I learned how to get inside their heads so they really make them perform. I learned a, a great deal of, of, of things from Jeff. Um, I had many, many great, great assistants along the way. I worked with Gary DeBobian at uh, Rancho Santiago High School. And I learned what it took to, to make a community college program successful, uh, especially about recruiting. Gary's the greatest recruiter I ever, I, I've ever been affiliated with. I had great assistant coaches. A few of my wrestlers came back the year I was working on my master's degree. Um, that particular year, uh, I, I was only showing up to practice two, two nights a week because I was working on my master's degree. Kenny Winaga and Morris Ferrante, and sure enough, we won the CF title that year. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank all the, the, the families that have worked with me. I mean, uh, I, being a wrestling coach allows you to have a great relationship with parents. And that's one of the things that I'll always be proud of. El Dorado High School had one of the, uh, some of the greatest parent groups ever. The Thomas Acts, uh, the Iwanagas, Hickox, uh, um, all those parents that we worked through that time. I mean, we still keep in touch to this day. I can't, I can't and I apologize if I missed any of your names and, and you're here tonight. But <laughs> the Lawsons, yes, yeah, the Lawsons and the Thomas Acts, yes. Now, <laughs> I want to say in, in closing that, uh, that uh, uh, I found my passion and, uh, <laughs> and thank you very much for, for coming here tonight. You might, you might want to turn to the program very quickly and look at Frank's picture. <laughs> he uh, wanted me to let you know that he works for a local dental firm selling dentures in the sideline. <laughs>